Good morning everybody, it's Sid from Pipe Exterior Cleaning. Uh, just taking you on a little video today. I did have a roof clean planned to um, to show you all, but it's been uh, pouring down all of today so far. And uh, there's a lot due for the rest. So um, it's a good little tip to do. Um, get some sort of gutter jobs, which I'll be showing you today. And uh, fascia cleans and stuff. Booked in for days like this, sort of, you know, when you can't do any of the bigger jobs or even windows in some cases, because it's uh, absolutely pouring down. Uh, yeah, so this is actually a repeat customer. Um, I cleaned the roof of this house um, earlier in the year um, and I did some pressure washing also. Um, but today they want the gutters all cleared out, cleaned over um, all the way around the house and there's a conservatory roof at the back and they want the windows cleaned as well. Um, so it should come up quite nice. They're not, um, not the dirtiest ones in the world, but they're uh, definitely due for a clean, I would say. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be using Waterfair Pole for the most of it. Um, I've got a little bit of razor wash as well, um, if needed. I probably won't need it, to be honest. Um, but if there's any stubborn stains, I'll uh, put some of that in a sprayer and uh, apply that to the roof. So uh, what I'm going to do first, um, which is what you should always do first before cleaning any um, gutters and fascias, is actually clear out the gutter in. Because there's no point cleaning it over uh, if it's full of moss and muck, because as soon as it overflows with the rain, it's gonna get dirty again. So yeah, always clean them out first. Right, I'll uh, get cracking. Right, just bring you back there um, to show you that's probably been about 10 minutes so far um, to be honest if that um, so it shows uh, Watford pole it is really really quick um, but you might have seen I do actually go back and uh, sort of wipe over things um, once I've gone over it with the Watford pole because um, I find I don't know maybe it's the brush I'm using or you know there might be some better better things out there to get it done but in some of the gaps it just doesn't hit it it's, the bristles aren't strong enough to actually take the dirt out um, and usually on these parts here, um, I find it sometimes hard to get a good scrub on it. So I tend to just go over it with a cloth afterwards. Um, I do tend to do most of my two story gutter cleaning off ladders, to be honest. Um, I don't really use the water fed pole so much for that. Um, mainly because of that reason, to be honest, because I find myself getting the ladders out anyway, just to check up closely on things because you can't really see very well from the ground floor. Um, but bungalows and things like that, first story, um, gutter and fascia cleans, 
Um, yeah, I always do it with the waterfed pole now. It speeds everything up so much, and obviously I'm sort of eye level with it anyway, so if there's anything I need to wipe off afterwards, I can just do that. So yeah, it's all looking good so far. Garage doors I went over as well. They didn't, they didn't ask for that, but um, you might as well sort of do things like that. Right then, I'll uh, crack on. Hello again folks, uh, approaching the end now and it's raining again so I've got my coat on. Uh, the back's all done, you can see it behind me. There was a little bit here to do, not too much around the back compared to the front. There's a apex there um, and a very awkward bit sort of around there. Um, that's all done, I just sort of cracked on um, instead of filming that because uh, I knew it wouldn't take too long. So I've just got these three uh, conservatory roof panels to do and a bit of gutter in. Um, there and then I'm all done. Actually, no, sorry, I've got the windows to clean afterwards, um, but that shouldn't take too long. Um, yeah, this isn't. I actually did this a few months ago as well, so it's not. Um, it's not too dirty, really. Um, shouldn't take too long. Um, yes, yeah, so it's pretty much the whole job has been done. It's all spotless, um, as you can see. Nothing on it. I mean, this was. I, I don't know when the last time these were done. Um, I haven't done them. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're spotless, so I didn't need any chemicals or anything like that. So literally just a bit of uh, water, the tap water I used on it, um, and and a scrub, that's it, that's all you need to do. And um, there is some jobs where I've, you know, I would never have got it as clean as I did without chemicals, but ones like this, um, you know, it's just an unger brush, nothing fancy at all. 
with a gooseneck on a pole to give it a bit of a scrub. This is quite a soft brush actually. Um, I could, uh, if there's any harder ones, I, could, I would definitely prefer it because it's meant to be a hard brush, but it's not. Um, it doesn't feel like it to me anyway. It's really soft, but, um, but yeah, it does fray, so it does help get into the gaps and stuff. But yeah, um, yeah. If anyone's got any ones that they recommend, do give me a shout in the comments because I'm looking to upgrade the brush. But yeah, I'll just crack on with this conservatory roof now, get these windows finished, and, uh, and then I'll be home and dry. If you've made it this far in the video then thank you so much for watching I, I really do appreciate it I hope you found some of the parts of this video helpful um, if there's anything you'd like to see in particular um, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get some of that specific work booked in um, there should be a few roof clean videos coming up within the next few weeks so stay tuned for those and give this video a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed it it really does help a lot cheers